Hey, it's Cozy Cup Gamer. How are you all doing out there? Uh, today I am embarking on a painful task of uh, reinstalling my Sims 3 on a different drive because I just got a new M.2 SSD drive. If you're in the same boat as I am, uh, you can follow along and hopefully it'll uh, help you. So if you're reinstalling it on a, a new drive or uh, just on the same drive, uh, it's pretty much the same thing except reinstalling it on a different drive. You have to do a one or two extra things but we want to make sure that we do a clean reinstall also making sure that we back up our sims 3 documents folder i usually back up my whole folder so you can either you know compress it or zip it up or you can just drag it and drop it onto your desktop if you want to copy it i do have it on a different drive here so what i'll do is i'll just open up my zip program which is winrar close that and I'll open up my Sims 3 document folder and I'll just drag and drop it in to back it up. Yeah, you want to make sure your graphic card is up to date too. I have NVIDIA, so I'll just open up my, um, that's not the right one my NVIDIA app. Go to drivers and it's up to date. Okay, that took a little while. <laughs> yeah, so the next thing you want to do after you've backed up your Sims 3 document folders or folder, uh, you want to use a, well, what I use is Revo Uninstaller to uninstall Sims 3. I always recommend this program, especially for Sims 3, because just uninstalling with Windows will leave traces of Sims 3 in the registry and hidden files and you don't want that um, and so in order to do a clean reinstall you should be using Revo you can do it with um, a trial of Revo in uninstaller if you don't have the program or if you haven't paid for it it's not very expensive anyways for th for the year it's like 20 bucks <laughs> Um, but yeah, really good program to have for making sure your Sims 3 is um, fully uninstalled from your PC because if you don't use it and you just use Windows uninstaller and you try and reinstall Sims 3, it can cause like issues where you have duplicate files and it'll prevent the game from running. So we don't want that. Of course, I'll leave the link below for Revo uninstaller if you want to get that program. And this is it here. And it says I have a new version to download, but I'm not going to do that right now we'll find your sims 3 in this list here um okay so i am going to start with uninstalling you can either do one by one one at a time if you feel more comfortable doing it that way or you can just uh tick them all okay i don't want to install create a world i'm gonna keep that where it is so carefully just tick off all the dlcs that you want to uninstall you, you're going to want to uninstall everything obviously and if you don't carefully do it that happens so there we go and we'll do a quick un uninstall so every time it says are you sure you want to uninstall the sims 3 yes just keep clicking through this and of course depending on how many dlcs you have it might take a little longer what's nice about revo uninstaller is like i said it does a clean uninstall so it'll wipe out all your all the hidden files and registries that are left behind very easily there's other programs programs that do the same thing but I find that Revo Uninstaller is a little easier to use. Okay now it's scanning for leftovers. It gives you a summary here. Deleted leftover folders 22, deleted leftover files 95. It's done. So just click finish. It should be all deleted off of your computer and uninstalled. So if you are uninstalling or you want to uninstall them individually, just make sure that after it's uninstalled and it asks you if you want it to scan for leftovers, make sure you click yes and make sure once it's checked all the files, click delete. Make sure that you're deleting everything that shows up. That's all you have to do. I forgot to mention that. So anyways, now that it's uninstalled from your PC, you're going to want to reinstall it, of course. So I use uh, my games through the EA app. Once you're in here, you just go to little icon on the very top corner there. Go to settings and then come over to the download tab over here and this is where you're going to want to choose the location you want the game installed so i do want to install it on my new m.2 so yeah i'm just going to navigate to my h drive click ok so i'm just going to go back home and go to actually my library here 
click on Sims 3 and click download. Create a desktop shortcut. Yes, just make sure everything looks right there and click download. So again, depending on how many DLCs that you have, it will, uh, you know, take a while if you have all of them. So the M.2 SSD are a lot faster than the regular SATA SSDs. They're like six times faster. Always try to avoid installing your Sims 3 on an HDD. <laughs> Even a SATA S SSD is much better than that. More stable and will most likely last longer as well. The longevity of the M.2 is pretty much the same as the SATA SSD. How fast it transfers data is a lot quicker because the, the M.2 is plugged right into your motherboard. So that's why it gives um, a faster connection. Okay, so that took a little while. <laughs> I had to put my hair up. As driving me nuts. Anyways, uh, so once that's done and your game is installed uh, on your new drive, it should look like this. So it will create its own Sims 3 folder, open that up, and there you'll have all your games, all your DLCs and all your packs. All right, so the next step is very important. We need to now move our documents folder uh, onto our new drive as well in order for the game to work properly. And um, of course, if you've just reinstalled on the same drive, you don't have to do that. One way to get the folder uh, or to bring up the folder, so I'm just gonna close this. Now, there's a couple ways. You can either navigate to it through the directory, file explorer, or you can click on Windows here and go to run and you want to type in this right here and then click OK and it'll take you right to where your documents folder is. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your new drive. Once you have it open, you're going to want to create a new folder in here and call it documents and then go back to your documents folder. Okay, so once you've found your documents folder, you're gonna wanna right click on it, go to properties, I go to the location tab up here, and you wanna click move, and then navigate to your new drive, click on the new documents folder that you just made, and select folder, and then click apply, and then yeah, it'll ask you, do you wanna move all the files from the old location to the new location? So you just wanna click yes, and let it transfer over oh wow i have a lot of files that are transferring over i didn't realize <laughs> there is that much and just click ok once that's done let's close this and let's see yep documents folder is now on my new drive and it should be on yours if you are in a situation where you can't move your documents file like it has to stay on C drive because you have other programs that rely on it being there. You can do a different thing and that is create a symbolic junction link. And I actually have a video that shows you how to do that. If you need to do it that way, it's not too hard. It's pretty simple. You can go check out that video and that should help you out there. All right, so now that we have our game installed in our documents folder on the right drive, everything looks good. If you have programs like mod managers, like CC Magic or Sims 3 Mod Manager or Regal Save Cleaner, you're gonna want to redirect all those programs to your new uh, install directory, of course. Let me open up Regal Saver. Oh, not there. <laughs> settings down here on the bottom left, go into path settings here, and then you're going to want to choose the first uh, one you want to just direct it to your new install. So yeah, the first one you want to choose a path and then for the second one directory you want to choose your path to your saves folder for Regal Saver. Also, if you have a Sims 3 user file on your desktop, once you move your documents folder to your new the new drive, it'll just automatically redirect the new shortcut so you don't have to make a new one. You should have your game nicely and cleanly in reinstalled on your drive, have your documents folder moved to your new drive if you had to do that. The next steps are really super important before you fire the game 
up and that is optimizing your game files, matching your graphic card to the game and reapplying the lazy smooth patch if you did have that before. And you'll find those steps on this video that I made a while ago, but I am in the middle of actually making a new version of that video. So keep your eyes out for that in the future. And if this video helped you out, of course, remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Also hit the bell notification there if you want more videos like this. Bye for now.